and following the murder of Reverend George Haddock the year before, they wanted to give Sioux City a new, vibrant identity and erase that bad reputation. In a period of five days in early October, 140,000 attendees came to visit the world's first corn palace. It drew in all classes of people from all over the nation, most notably former President Grover Cleveland, who remarked, this is the first new thing that has been shown me. Tourism skyrocketed, and the investors drew a huge sigh of relief. Now that it was clear that a palace made out of corn could be a profitable business venture, they could begin plans to build a new corn palace next year. And a quick note here, we've been talking about these corn palaces in terms of their rich Victorian investors and what they thought of them, but it's important to remember that these weren't the only people involved. The Corn Palace Festival, which took place during the days that the Corn Palace was open, was a major citywide event in which the entirety of Sioux City's population took part. Farmers provided grain and produce, artists designed the elaborate murals on the outside, for which the Corn Palace became famous, and the inside was decorated by local women's groups, where local businesses and clubs could set up stands advertising what Sioux City had to offer. It is said that love is a serious mental disease, one that tears away all sense of reason, all sense of fear, and every last strand of common sense. The shaft of arrows is one that pierces the victim clean, leaving pieces remnants buried inside for years. And anyone who's lucky enough to have been chosen by that godly hand will attest that it's better to have been struck and killed than to have never struck at all. This is Inner Demons. What's your emergency? Uh, yeah, there's this, there's this guy and he's on the ground. He's bleeding a lot, I think. Okay, ma'am, calm down here. Where are you? I'm the third exit off 91. Off 91? You're on the side of the interstate? I, yeah, just a little ways off of it. I... Outside his apartment, Ryan Henney had been stabbed multiple times with a small, sharp object. 